All right, so I wanted to demonstrate how the Unirack mounting system works because I'm going to be doing a solar install on my house. And I figured I might as well make a video about this. So this is one of the mounting feet. This is uh, the flange that gets bolted down through into your uh, roof. I have a flat roof, so I'm just going to grab the Unirack standoffs and then attach that to the rail. Uh, you have to buy these L brackets separately, and this will actually go on top of this standoff. The standoff has a little cover, and then the L bracket sits on top and it gets bolted down. So basically, the way this works is you have this extruded aluminum uh, pipe that's threaded in the middle, and then this just gets inserted and threaded. Just rotate, and that's basically how it goes together. Nothing too difficult, except I'm doing this with one hand because I have to hold my camera. So just rotate clockwise, and it'll get bolted down. Now, once this is done, next step before you put this cover and L bracket on is when you're up on your roof, uh, you're gonna have to actually bolt this to your rafters. I have three and a half inch uh, stainless lag screws that I'm going to use. And then this cover just goes on, got the L bracket, and then sit all down. Alright, so I'm outside now and I have all my standoffs pretty much ready and set to go. I have my lag screws here, I've got my L brackets, and then bolts and accessories, and I actually have a mock set up of what the rail is going to look like. And here you can see how it attaches. Uh, there's just that bolt, and on the opposite side there's a T-bolt that goes through and hooks onto the rail. It slides down into this channel. Um, so basically I wanted to show you guys how the Unirack mounting clips work. There's what they call this T-bolt, and as you could tell, basically all you do is slide it on in and then turn. Let me show you a side view of what happens there. Basically, when you insert this bolt and then twist, it locks into place and then you can just tighten down your panel. Then I'll also be using end phase microinverters and for that I have another set of T-bolts. And it's the same general idea. Twist that, then all you have to do is undo the nut a little bit first. And just slide your macro inverter in with the washer on top and then tighten the bolt. Then your panel is going to go on top. And that's about it. Meet you guys up on the roof.